This morning, emotions running very high around Indianapolis and really now nationally. A young man, Drejan Reed, shot and killed by a police officer. And the whole thing captured on Facebook Live, causing outrage as people watched the chase that led up to the shooting and heard the shooting take place. People gathered last night to voice their concerns over what happened, and they plan to protest today at noon. Joining us right now on the phone is Pastor Antonio Lipscomb of Greater Nine Fellowship Church, who is also an NAACP member. Pastor, good morning to you. Good morning. Just a small correction. It's Greater Anointing Fellowship Church. Thank you for correcting me. I apologize for that. I know we rushed to get you on the phone this morning. Um, Antonio, tell me first your message and what you want the city of Indianapolis to hear. Well, first of all, we have to give condolences to the family. Dejan Reed uh, is a young man that will be missed. Um, quite sure he had a bright future ahead of him. Uh, so we, we're just uh, want to give our condolences out to him and the family. One of the things that I know that is important to really all sides is they be heard and they have a voice. I also know in talking to you in the commercial break, you, you want to make a point that to not rush to judgment. Can you speak on that? Yes, we don't want to rush to judgment because this is a very delicate situation and it's something that we believe needs to be analyzed thoroughly so that when we deal with the situation like this, that we hope that we won't have to continue to deal with the same scenarios. Uh, I, like, I think a lot of these scenarios uh, have similar uh, characteristics. However, we just want to make sure that we be very thorough and thoughtful as we go through this process to make sure uh, justice is served for all parties involved. You were one of the members that um, gathered last night to, um, and I don't know what the word you want to use, to gather to, um, if you want to use the word protest or come together um, to show support. Tell me a little bit about that and then what is planned today at noon? Well, the, the, the problem is um, we, we struggle with the culture of the police department. Uh, we, we, we realize on a daily basis uh, that some get treated different than others as it relates to the policing. And this is just an underlying occurrence of uh, situations that's constantly evolving across the country. And we want to, what we would like to do is like my first point, be very thoughtful, look at this situation, and let's see how we can fix it because, unfortunately, there's always an African-American male, generally some type of re, uh, routine traffic stop or violation that takes place, and, be, and, and through that uh, experience, we find that that individual uh, it, it becomes deceased through the hands of a police officer. And, and so we need to figure out what do we do, and I don't want I don't want to hear the word uh, diversity training and training officers. Uh, the officers should already be prepared before they go into a scenario like that, and I believe that they are. I just feel like they have some of the police officers feel the liberty when they see that it's a black male that they can uh, use uh, uh, blunt uh, force. Uh, to, to uh, and, and up to Annie and 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 killing, them. Yep. And, and, and we're and we're saying and we're saying that we don't want that that type of uh, policing to take place in our community. Antonio, our producer, we are, we're on a time limit. We have to get to commercial break. But I did want to ask this, and I hope you can. I don't, I don't know how to ask it other than to just ask it. Does it matter the race of the officer? Does that matter at all? I don't think uh, at this stage it, it matters the race of the officer that pulls the trigger. It's a cultural problem mm -hmm. of how the police are policing us, whether it be black, white, Hispanic. It doesn't matter. They have created a culture by which it seems like black males can be gunned down like game animals, and then they celebrate afterwards, mm -hmm. and it seems like uh, it, uh, the word needs to be spoken, and, and the process needs to take place to where if you kill an unarmed people, whether they be black, white, Hispanic, et cetera, but majority of the time it's black African-American males, then they need to go through the due process to be prosecuted and thrown in prison. Pastor Lipscomb, we appreciate your thoughts this morning. I know you'll be out there today. We'll be covering um, the gathering Absolutely. at noon, and uh, we appreciate your thoughts and your time this morning. God bless you, and thank you for having us, uh, Fox News. Absolutely. It's 916 right now.